this is my favorite Taizé service of the season uh, because the sanctuary is decorated and it is just a wonderful time to come and be still. And we prepare in the season for Emmanuel, God with us. And so as you gather tonight and are still, may you feel that presence of God with you. Um, if you're joining us from home, uh, we uh, invite you to prepare that space uh, for you to worship apart and yet together. Um, we invite you to take a hold of a candle uh, or a piece of cloth or fabric or pottery or painting or something that helps you to come close uh, to the presence of God and uh, to uh, just be present in prayer, in song, and in silence. And if you're here in the sanctuary, uh, we invite you to participate. Either you can close your eyes and be in a place far apart, open and be here. Wherever you are, know that God is there. Uh, during the service here, we do have candles that are over here on the far side of the communion rail. And at any time in the service, feel free to come forward to either kneel and pray or to light a candle uh, for a loved one or for a concern that you have. And other than that, just uh, sing along with us either in whichever language is uh, familiar and meaningful for you or just be still. But let us take a deep breath. Let us remind ourselves of God's love that meets us here. And let us join together in worship.
Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has, who has looked, looked favorably on God's people and, and redeemed, redeemed them, who has raised up a mighty Savior for us in the house of God's servant, David. Having, Having spoken, spoken through, through the mouth of God's, God's holy prophets from of old, that, that we would be saved from our enemies and, and from the hand of all who hate us. us. Thus God has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered God's holy covenant, the oath sworn to our ancestor Abraham. 
to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve God without fear, in holiness and righteousness before God all our days. Let us pray for those in need of redemption and salvation, for those oppressed by enemies, for those seeking to serve the Lord, holy and without fear. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before and prepare the way of the Lord to give knowledge of salvation to God's people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet to a new way of peace. Let us pray for those longing for guidance in the way of peace, peace for themselves and peace for the world. One thing came into being. What has come into being through the word was life, and the life was the light of the people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of human will, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of a parent's only child, full of grace and truth.
Jesus, joy of our hearts, your gospel assures us that the kingdom of God is in our midst and the gates of simplicity and those of innocence open within us. the Most High. You reign over all things from one end of the earth to the other. Come and teach us the way of wisdom. Lord Jesus, come soon. O Lord and head of the house of Israel, you appeared to Moses in the fire of the burning bush and gave him the law on Sinai. Come with outstretched arm and ransom us. Lord Jesus, Jesus come, come soon. soon. O morning star, splendor of light eternal and bright sun of justice, come and shine on all who live in darkness and in the shadow of death. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus come, come soon. soon. O King of the nations, you alone can fill their desires. Cornerstone, you make oppos opposing nations one. Come and save us. You formed us all from clay. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, come, come soon. soon. O oh, Emmanuel, hope of the nations and their Savior, come and save us, Lord our God. Lord Jesus, come soon. up our prayers and we can lift them up silently before God we can also speak them out if we're online and if you wish you can type them into our chat line. <laughs> loving God we pray for those who are in the midst of violence in our world who are the recipients of hatred and fear, that your light would shine in that situation. May your light shine in the darkness. We lift up those who are seeking safety and shelter those who are looking for basic needs and finding none, those who are refugees and without a home. We pray for your light to enter into those places and bring your hope, your peace, and dispel the darkness. We lift up those who struggle to find hope. In the midst of a season full of lights, they feel alone. May the light of your hope shine.
shine in their dark places with your light that cannot be overcome. We lift up your church that it may again feel your presence, Emmanuel, dwelling in the depths of their soul, in the midst and the power of the Holy Spirit, and find the courage and strength to shine, that the world might see your light of love in us, and know you have come and will come again. Shine on us, Lord Jesus, with your light that dispels the darkness and that will not be overcome. We lift up those who grieve, those who may have lost loved ones, those who may have lost ways of life, ways of income, ways of working in the world, ways of relationships that were meaningful to them. We pray that your light of hope and new life would shine into the darkness with the cry, He is risen, and know your power that makes all things new is with us in Emmanuel. God with us in the power of the Holy Spirit. Come with your light. Dispel our darkness, that light that cannot be overcome. Pray in the name of the one who has called us together as your community of faith <coughs> and taught us to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you. 
let us now depart from your peace, blessed Jesus. Send us to our homes with God's love in our hearts. Let not the busy world claim all our loyalties. Keep us ever mindful, dear Lord, of you. Amen. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace.